achievements of classical Greece in diverse fields especially literature mathematics science philosophy and the arts have profoundly influenced the world culture especially impressive is the direct narrative style of its writers the realism and the subtle aesthetics of its art aristotle in particular was extremely influential for nearly 2000 years in the western and the islamic worlds as he was embraced by the orthodoxy in both christianity and islam since physics is fundamental to cosmology his thoughts had a profound impact on the history of western science we know about democritus who proposed the concept of indivisible elements we know about archimedes who in 250 bce made brilliant contributions to geometry and impressive application of mathematics to physical phenomena such as hydrostatics and statics however we have never heard about maharshi kanak this brings us to kanak the son of uluk who was possibly one of the greatest physicists of antiquity kanak the author of vaisheshik sutra is generally believed to have lived around 600 bce he is credited with the idea of the atom as simply a passing footnote in today's history books to give the reader a flavor of the astonishing brilliance of kanak's vision we will pick just a few of his propositions to illustrate his system and then the sutras that describe the physical law related to the motion will also be provided note that his atoms are in a perpetual state of motion and so he distinguishes between the internal and outer motions of an object proposition 1 karmam karma sadhyam na vidyate from motion new motion is not known proposition 2 karana bhavat karya bhava in the absence of cause the effect is absent proposition 3 samanyam vishesh iti buddhyapeksha the properties of the universal and particular are ascertained by the mind proposition 4 saditi yato dravya guna karma so sa satta existence is self defined thus substance attribute and motion are potential proposition 5 sadakarana vanitya existence is uncaused and eternal hence it is nitya the propositions present general principles that are most reasonable for example the idea of symmetry is included in the principle of nitya now let us see what are called as the kanas laws of motion sayoga bhave gurutvat patanam in the absence of conjunction gravity causes the objects to fall law 2a nodana vishesha bhavan nordvam nati ryagyam manam in the absence of the force there is no upward motion sideward motion or motion in general nodanaada vyamishoh karma tatkarma taritachya samskara uttaram tathottaram uttaranch the initial pressure on the bow leads to the arrow's motion from that motion is momentum and from which is the motion that follows the next and so on the third law karyar virodhi karma this is similar to the newton's third law action is opposed by reaction if you can notice the first law is effectively equivalent to newton's first law the second law in two parts falls a bit short although it has something much more about the potential what is missing is an explicit definition of mass but we cannot be sure if that was not an element of the exposition kanat's third law is identical to newton's third law the vaisheshika sutra is just over 370 sutras in 10 chapters where each chapter has two sections calling physical law dharma the first chapter defines and discusses three categories of substance attribute and action the second chapter describes the nine substances the third chapter deals with the self and the mind the first part of the fourth chapter speaks of all the eternality of atoms and how sensory perception leads to knowledge The second part of the fourth chapter deals with the composition of bodies. The fifth chapter deals with action and the sixth chapter deals with the discipline that facilitates the acquisition of knowledge. The seventh chapter elaborates on atomicity and further discusses the nature of ether, mind, space and time. The eighth and ninth chapters describe various types of cognition and negation. The tenth chapter discusses the causes As this summary indicates the text is a systematic exposition of principles and laws to describe the physical reality 
the vaisheshika categories are for space time matter and for attributes related to perception by sentient agents kanat starts with six categories or padarthas that are nameable and knowable proposing they are sufficient to describe everything in the universe from concrete matter to the abstract atom the six categories are dravya which is substance guna which is quality karma which is motion samanya which is universal vishesha which is particularity and samavaya which is inherence the first three of these have an objective existence and the last three are a product of intellectual discrimination universals or samanya are recurrent generic properties in substances qualities and motions in it the gross visible matter is constructed out of the varying motions of anu the most fundamental particle the mind is not a very empty slate the very constitution of the mind provides some knowledge of the nature of the world the four proofs through which correct knowledge is acquired are direct perception inference analogy and verbal testimony in other words the system represents a logical and scientific approach to reality particularities or vishesha reside exclusively in the eternal non composite substances that is in the individual atoms and minds and in the unitary substances like ether space and time inherence or samanya is the relationship between the entities that exist at the same time of the six categories the basic one is that of the substance and the other five categories are the ones that the mind associates with the substance thus observers belong to the system in an integral fashion if there were no two sentient beings in the universe then there would be no need for these categories there are nine classes of substances some of which are non atomic some are atomic and others all pervasive the non atomic ground is provided by the three substances of ether or akash space or dikha and time which is kal which are unitary and indestructible a further four earth which is prithvi water which is apas fire which is tejas and air which is vayu are atomic composed of indivisible and indestructible atoms or anu self or consciousness which is the atman which is the eighth is omnipresent and eternal and lastly the ninth is the mind or the manas which has atomic dimensions let the basic atoms of prithvi apas tejas and vayu be represented as p ap t and v respectively the eternality of the atoms is true only under normal conditions and during creation and destruction the atoms arise in a sequence starting with akash and absorbed in the reverse sequence at the end of the world the sequence of evolution of elements is given as v which is vayu t which is tejas ap which is apas and p which is prithvi the v and t atoms are without mass whereas p and ap atoms have mass it is significant that consciousness is listed before the mind suggesting that it is the medium through which the mind's apprehensions are received the atoms of earth water fire and air are different and this difference arises out of the different ways the fundamental atom of materiality combines with itself in different types of arrangements in other words kanath foresaw the emergence of chemistry from physics Kanat's ideas have always been central to Indian physical thought and they influenced the emergence of modern science indirectly. We will discuss other such great people from our culture in our next videos. Till then, stay tuned, stay educated, and last but not the least, know your culture by self-investigating the truth. Shubhaste Panthana Santu, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.